Yeah, we riding. Yeah, we riding. Hey, we got. It. Hey, we riding. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Tea Priestess. I hope y'all are doing lovely. Okay, feeling amazing. This is a don't fear God reading. Okay, I don't know. I need to do this because people are out here fearing God and you know I just want to be like there's no need like you know the only two things that you should fear with God is like maybe two three things okay the first is like birth because <laughs> you know you don't know how but that's something that you can't control literally you don't control how you get here okay but it's like the fear is like how you get here you know if you have complications or things like that you know uh that's something you can fear okay uh you can also fear like uh i don't know okay so fear god and through birth one 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 okay fear god through birth and you can fear god through death okay because of how you might die you know things like that but it's like death is something that you can't control birth is something that you can't control the only thing that you can control is you living and you being here okay and the actions that you take the things that you do all of that so it's like you know people fear god i get it yes however there's no reason to fear god because if if you're living in a way that follows God and like you know even if you're not on the level of God yet or whatever because it can take a while it's like that's the only thing that you should be worried about because you cannot control death and you cannot control birth and so it's like the only thing that you're here to control is you and your life <laughs> and God got the rest and the thing is, if you walk with God, then you really can see how God walk with you, okay? Look, you can see how I've, I was just sitting here like, I fuck with God so hard <laughs> because God know me and God know what I like. I just saw two, three, four. God know what I love, okay? And so because of that, look, fuck with me just came on. Look, God fuck with me, okay? Like so hard, and I mean that. And it's not just because God been fucking with me since I was a child, okay? Like, and this is something that I know, okay? And it, the thing is, it's like I, I was a child that was like, if you want to say bad, <laughs> I, in the sense, three or four time, okay? I used to be on go time all the time, <laughs> okay? Like, like, all the time, but three or four time is God time, okay? It's whole time, but it's God time. And so it's like, I used to be a child, literally all up until college, okay? Like, being a rebel, a rebel type of person, that's me. I've been this way this whole time, like being in church, being loud, being <laughs> running around the church, you know, like from church, from like being in public places, you know, getting lost and shit, having worrying my mama <laughs> in the grocery stores, you know, like uh, yelling at teachers at school. I have done all of this. OK, helping one of my friends in a fight. Um, you know, like I've literally never, I fought, but I've never like fought, fought, but it's like, like me personally, but I have helped. Okay. I've like been arrested. I went to jail, um, for stupid shit, but you know, it's like, I done been that person. I really have. I done ran away from gunshots. I done been around people getting shot. I done... <laughs> I haven't seen it all. I, I could have almost went to jail and not been in, in college no more for a week, um, <laughs> you know, with a group of friends. Like, it's so much. It's so much. And I've been that person. I really have. And so through all of that, 
guys still been like you my nigga okay and most recently within the last two years i really have seen that because me and god got even closer like like on so many levels and it's like now it's like it's like we took a long time to get to know each other even though we knew each other but now it's like we know each other like i know god and god know me and i know i know god and it's like it's like god is like a person at this point god is personified and god makes god presence known as like a person in a way even though god is literally everything and everywhere and that's the thing that's how god uses that shit because God is everything and everywhere. It's like God be like, yep, I'm right here. Yep, I'm over here. Yep, I'm right here. Yep, I'm going to send you this song. Yep, I'm going to send you this email real quick. And it might not even be like, it's like a little message. It's a, like a, hey, it's like a, oh, I know you like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> like that'll make you laugh. Like, you know, something. I don't know. If it's like a drink in the stove, be like, oh, yeah, pick that. You know you're going to like that. You know, it's like, I don't know. But it's like the whole fear thing. I don't have fear because, one, I have overcame fear to where I don't be scared about shit out here, like in the world. There could be a whole bunch of shit going on. I literally have been around like, somebody getting shot <laughs> i'm so serious i'm not laughing at that but it's like somebody getting shot when i'm at the corner store and then all of a sudden somebody getting shot like right there and i'm like what <laughs> but no no like oh my god no it's just like okay somebody <laughs> you know like it's a everyday normal thing i don't know it ain't no fear it's just not like not no fear like I don't know and God has helped me do that God has helped me overcome all types of fears all types of if you want to say anxiety which is of the devil <laughs> anxiety is the devil okay all types of anxieties all types of because it's dark because devilish type of shit wants you to feel like like you're excuse me like you can't control shit and you know, sometimes, you know, that can come up. However, it don't also at the same time for me now, because it's like, there's nothing to fear. <laughs> I don't know, there's nothing to fear. Like if you, if you don't have enough money, okay, the money gonna come because it's like, you at some point are going to get to another point and it's literally going to be at a higher point even if you go lower <laughs> like even if you go i've been there where i went from one point and it was at a low point but then i went even lower <laughs> and i was like oh okay so this is what it is but the thing is it's like still fucking with god so hard where it's like god i know we're gonna get out of this i know that and i said we because it's just like that it's like we gonna get out of this like how we gonna get out of this god shit god know what type of situation you in if you work with god god will work with you look do you love me for real it's like it's like it's like i have showed god that i love god for real for real and god has showed me that i know i know god but i love god for real for real like we in this thing like i'm gonna ride the wheels <laughs> <laughs> right until the wheels fall off for real for real and even then it's like you die and you still got god that's the thing that's why this shit is cool because it's like god is everywhere all the time in this lifetime and the next and if you don't have no next lifetime then you you got god like you just there with god like that sound amazing to me i don't know it's like god is amazing and so I needed to, to do that because God is literally amazing. Like, I fuck with God so hard. And there's a whole bunch of people where they don't want me to fuck with God as, as hard as I fuck with God. But I fuck with God. I really do. I don't give a fuck. The same card came out, do you love me for real? And so it's like, if you don't fuck with God that hard, I feel like also right now, people are knowing like you can see who fuck with god and who don't because god is making that shit blatantly known okay like like if you fuck like god like if you fuck with me i got you 
but if you don't fuck with me <laughs> you gonna know look i don't know this is coming through but uh lil dark he just got slapped or whatever allegedly because <laughs> they put alleged allegedly even though it was on the video but allegedly got slapped uh at a casino and he ain't have i don't think he had people around him or whatever that's like that's guy setting some shit up to be like nigga <laughs> i will beat your ass <laughs> I'm so serious. It's it's just like that. Like it's like you think you protected, you think you safe. Okay. I'ma show you how you not. And so people is getting shown like how they not safe, how they not prepared, how they not protected. And God is literally setting up shit that people cannot control. Like you can't control this shit. Like, it just can't con be controlled. Okay, Young Buck, Ten Toes Down. Album cover is being pointed out right now. Hell yeah, I'm ten toes down with God. Like, be like, God be like asking me to do some wild shit. Not necessarily wild, but like to say some shit, to do some shit sometimes. And I be like, for real, God? And God be like, hell yeah, do that shit. <laughs> hell yeah, do that shit. And I be like, okay. <laughs> I got a song, uh, Never Been Better. The first beginning of the song, I'll be like, I said yes out here. Said to God, okay, okay. It's just like that. It's like, hell yeah. Okay, God, what we got? What we gonna do? Let's do it. Let's do it. Because it's like, God got me. Whatever God is asking me to do, God got me in that in that moment, in that, in that step, whatever the fuck. Because we, we right here with it. Y'all see how I just caught that shit with my legs? <laughs> that's just god that's god it's like i i do something and then god right there to catch me right there so it's like it's like no matter what happens it could be some horrible ass shit i don't care and hopefully at this moment in life <laughs> i think that i have been through most of all of the horrible shit that i can go through there is new horrible shit that i might go through in the future however i honestly feel like it's not going to be as bad as what I've experienced in the past. And I feel that because God has literally given me that insight. Okay, 12-12. And so it's like, it might be horrible shit, but I'm also like ready for it. Whatever the horrible shit is. And I feel like it's going to be me looking into shit. Me indirectly experiencing it, but like not me. And that's something that I've been waiting for my whole life. <laughs> I've been waiting for me to not directly experience shit my whole life. And I'm finally here where I don't have to experience shit me personally. And so I'm ready for that because more life by Drake. Okay, I got more life. And so because I done been through, I done been basically dead. Okay, I got hit by a fucking car and I was basically like dead. And I woke the fuck up. I woke up. And I'm here. I done healed. I can walk. I just took a walk outside, like a, a distance, a distance that I have not walked since before my accident. I got hit by a car. I'ma stop saying accident because I got hit by a fucking car. Okay? People like to try to put in the accident. You had your accident? No. I got hit by a car. <laughs> I got hit by a car. Okay? And so because I got hit by a car, that ain't something that people just do. People don't just hit, get hit by fucking cars and live. Like, at all. People don't get hit by cars and live. Okay? And so, it's like, I got not only got hit by a car, but I'm in this whole living, walking, breathing. Okay? Looking good. <laughs> okay? Like, that's God. That ain't nothing but God. Like, I'm a fucking miracle out here look never saw it coming okay you know i never saw that like certain things god don't say and it's okay because i'm a human being and so certain things i'm not gonna know that's coming my way however god be preparing and again my body has been tried in a great way and so god do that one time like there's certain times because I've, I know exactly why I was hit. I know the whole situation, you know, why the fuck that shit was going on, what led to that, 
all of that and so because i know that there's certain instances where it's like maybe you went through some horrible shit where your body has been tried okay because there's certain shit that like i've been through before that like you know uh homelessness or being hungry not having no money being like broke 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 uh like all of that shit okay whatever the shit like my mama dying grandparents dying uh family members dying i don't know family not fucking with me you know all that shit like horrible shit but but that didn't affect my body okay it's me getting affected by my body where god is like okay no nah, that's that's done like you ain't doing that no more and i done broke bones before like before this like growing up i didn't broke like my my right right or left ankle like twice my right arm was broke one time so it's like i done been through some painful ass shit but nothing compared to what the fuck i recently experienced okay like my hip was dislocated like that's not normal <laughs> It's just not normal. I just saw five, five, five when I said normal. That shit not normal, okay? And so, <coughs> it's like, you know, I done been through that shit. And so, it's like now, God is like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Them people, like no people, no people can do that shit again. Like, yes, there could be other things, but my body is literally not going to be tried i'm going to continue to heal and heal and heal in so many ways where it's like my body is going to continue to get better like i'm very strong like stronger now than i was before and i was strong before but i'm really strong now like my body is like you know i'm like cute okay like and it's in a way because of me getting hit because i've been forced to like work out like like almost every day but at least every other day every two to three days i work out like i'm doing some type of strength training which is like building up muscle and shit and so because i have to do that in order to get this right especially my leg and my knee and so it's like you know like i'm a lot stronger than i was before but also building off of a strength that i had before and it's all because of God. <sighs> so yes. How do we start over? Now we're at a point where it's like, God is like, let's start over. How do we start over? And so because of that, it's like, I'm here. God know I'm here. We in this hoe. Like at first, maybe <laughs> with zero, no, no love boulevard. Maybe it seemed like that for me. It did. For a little bit, it seemed as if God didn't fuck with me. And I'm so serious. For a certain point in time in life, it seemed like God did not fuck with me. And I was like, uh-uh. I don't know who you is, God. But you... <laughs> I mean, like, after my mama died, I was like, oh, no. I Like, I started feeling a whole bunch of different ways about God. And I kind of started to feel like that. But when that shit happened, I really was like, I don't know who you is, God. You don't fuck with me you did this shit like you took away my mama that shit was hard as fuck okay like it took me like 10 whole years to to not let her go but to let go of hurt and pain that i had inside my body like 10 whole years that's how long almost as long as i did not fuck with god and i'm so serious and i'm 30 now so that's like 20 years i fucked with god and 10 years where i didn't Maybe I did a little, like, I would dibble and dabble and be like, you know, go to church, listen to church music, you know. Gospel music is something that's always been there, but, but like, nah, two, 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 okay? Like, I did not fuck with God for, like, a little bit, 9-11. Like, it was like, and for God, that was alarming, okay? And that's why it's like, it took, it took, it took things happening in my life but also god needing to come into my life to be like i'm here and god literally being like i'm here okay and then in like 2019 
2019, I was like, okay, God, okay, God, mm, we here. But then 2020, for real, for real, God was like, I'm here. I'm here. God was like, I'm here. And I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. And then it was ever since, it's been like real good, real cool. Even though I have went through in that time frame some horrible ass shit. But it's like God needed to be there for the horrible shit. Like hard. Because God already knew what was going to go on in my life after God came in. Yes. Harder. Like harder. Like making the presence fully known. Okay. But like I've had like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I've had like God come in and I'd be like, okay, God, you here. But then it's like, I don't know. Like 2015, I had like a big, like, wow, God, like, what's that? And it was like a big old, like awakening. And it was just like, I'm here. And then after that, my mind started to change. The things that I did started to change. Like, I don't know. But, like, mind started to change. And it all happens in the mind first. It really does. If your mind is not changing with God, then you're doing something wrong. Because your mind is supposed to change first, and then everything follows. If you changing, like, your physical self, physical self before you change your mental self, it's not going to follow, and it's not going to be right. Because you have to change your mind first before anything. It's like mind then emotions then fucking physical things can happen to you but it's like mind has to change your mental has to be strong and then emotions have to change and follow the mind and then physical things can start to happen and change and be better but it has to start with uh your mind i'm looking at slimmy b problem child okay look i already said i was a problem child apparently since i was a child like a baby people was like that's the problem child me (laughs) and now look at me okay i don't know i'm just like i done been through a whole bunch of shit and god has literally been here this whole time and so going back to fearing god i don't fear god i love god and god loves me and so You know, I hope that this has helped, like, give some insight on, like, how to not fear God. Because God is literally here. God will literally show you. And God will literally prove to you how much God loves you. But you also, it's a relationship. Like, y'all both got to be on the same page. If it's not like that, then it won't be like that. And I feel like that's the most important part. Part. The most important relationship in the whole world is with God. If you don't have it and you think that, you know, God is just nothing, then okay. That's fine. At one point, again, I was there. However, God came in and God came through and was like, nah, I knew that you fucked with me before, so I'm going to show you how much you fuck with me. If you ain't never fucked with God, that's a different story. I don't have that for you. <laughs> I don't have none of one of those stories cuz I used to be like on my knees type shit praying the the Lord's prayer, praying the cuz I grew up very Christian, uh praying the Lord's prayer, praying uh Psalms 23. Uh now let me is that it? Now let me down to sleep. I pray to No, that's not it. That's not it. But uh, <laughs> hold up the one where it say the lord is my sh- shepherd i shall not want that's psalms 23 because it's goat it's the it's the 23rd minute right now it's the psalms 23 i used to say that shit before bed when i was little like for years like get on my knees type shit and you know so god remembers all that and so if you ain't never never fucked with god i don't know what to tell you but right now those who have really fucked with God, whether you have or you don't, I mean, no, no, no. Well, yeah, whether you have or you don't, it's like, that's it. I don't know. That's it. That's being pointed out. That's it. Like, it's like either you fuck with God or you don't. Cold Day in Hell by uh, Freddie Gibbs is being pointed out. It's like, 
you can really understand i can really understand hell and <laughs> heaven is cold i mean sorry hell is cold i'm just letting you know <laughs> because i've been there <laughs> I've been there. I've been to hell and back, okay? And so hell is cold. It's not hot. I'm just letting that be known. <laughs> hell is very cold. They can make it seem like it, that shit hot. That shit ain't hot. That shit is cold. So niggas who be dying and going there, it's cold. That get. I think that they get a rude, a rude awakening once they get there because it's like, wait, I thought this shit was going to be hot. Nah, this shit cold because... It's a whole different thing. Like, it's like, God got to surprise you. Be like, you thought it was going to be hot, huh? Like, you was going to be burning? Nah, you're going to be freezing. <laughs> you're going to be freezing. I'm so serious. Look, express yourself, God. Look, I'm saying what I need to be saying. Okay? Grinding, I'm shining. Okay? I don't know. Pay up, pay, pay. Money on the way. Okay? Money on the way. The love is all real. God is making sure that things are being taken care of. Okay, 333 by Sammy is being pointed out. Um, yeah, so I think that that's all. I think that that's all. I hope that this helps. I hope that this gave some insight. Okay, thank y'all for watching. Bye, y'all.